Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to, let's say it in the words of this LED strip, brighten your life and put some LEDs into this Creality K1. In my review, and a lot of you watched it, thank you by the way, I complained about the lighting situation of the Creality K1. You can see that there is an LED inside, but if we look at the camera, the results are not that um, amazing. So I bought some 24 volt LED strips and I'm going to show you how to install it in the Creality K1. If you are following along, we are going to turn off the power button on the back. And once it's powered off, we are going to pull the plug so we cannot short any components. Then we are going to remove the riser so we have good access on that LED strip and as you can see right there is the LED strip so there is a connector on it and if you just pull the cable like that we have the cable of the LED so we are going to splice into this and we are going to use this to power our new LED strip now that we have pulled out the cable right here we are going to snip off this wire and then we are going to take our soldering station then let's take our wire and snip off this connector just like that then let's take a wire stripper there is some kind of a heat shrink around it this makes it really easy access to it and just like that we have the two wires we have the red wire and we have the black wire the black wire is the negative the red wire is the positive now let's take a look at the LED. It's 24 volts DC. We have a 10 watts per meter power consumption. It's an eight millimeter width and it has a color temperature of 6000 K with a CRI of 90. Any cheap LED will just do fine. Now this LED is a COB design, which means chip on board. There are a lot of little LEDs in this little strip and there is a diffuse layer on top. So we have a nice and even LED spread. Now you can see there are some copper markings and those are the places that you can cut the wire. So for instance, if you want to cut here, then you can just snip it off. Also, if you want to solder things, the bottom one is the plus, the top one is the negative. It is nicely displayed right here. But we are going to snip off this cable and then we are going to connect it to the cable we already snipped off. Get rid of the connector. Let's remove the jacket. And also right here we have the negative, the black wire, and we have the positive, the red wire. Now we are going to want to remove the insulation. And now we have our two wires. There are two things you can do. You can use a connector and you can connect them together using, for instance, these wagos. You also have this little EDPD thingy and this has some glue in it. So as soon as you press this button, the glue is activated and you get a weather sealed connection. But because we don't have a lot of room in this corner, I am just going to solder them together. First of all, we are going to twist them like this and you might want to cover up your display as there is going to be some solder stuff falling down on it and we don't want to stain our panel just like this then let's solder it so we have soldered these connections and if you want to make absolutely sure if this is the plus or the negative now it's time to take some measuring devices and to start measuring on it with the printer on now i'm not going to do it it's very clearly that this is the red wire and this is the black one so i'm just going to go ahead and solder the other led same deal for the led they are twisted and now i'm going to solder them And just like that, we have a joint cable. Now let's do the other one. Now let's grab our heat shrink and put it over like this. I'm going to do the same thing again for the other side. Gently heat it up. So by snipping it very hot, these joints together so we have a nice and enclosed little piece of heat shrink then we are going to take a larger crimp and put these two together and take the cables with them just like this so now we have a well packaged cable and they are all nicely bunched together like this 
heat it up for the last time. And then very fast, we are going to squish the end together. And now the heat shrink is nicely sealed up in there. So this is not going to let anything through. Now we have a nicely secured cable that is soldered and connected properly and insulated like it should be. Let's test out the LED strip and see if this thing lights up. And success, we have a lot of light. Now the following step is going to depend on what kind of a riser that you have, but I'm going to put it on this one. We are going to start and have a look first. If we squish anything, nope, this seems to be fine. And we are going to try and glue it on to our riser. We reached a full circle and there is a little part that I can snip right here, which is what I'm going to do, just like that. And now we have a full turn of some LED lights in our riser, just like that. Now we just need to do something about this cable hanging right here because the printhead is zeroing in here and it is going to smack the cable. So let's fix this. And just like that, we installed an LED strip that the print head doesn't hit. I drilled two holes, I put a zip tie to it to hold in the cable and I dabbed a little bit of glue in the corner so it stays nice and flat right over here. And there is no hitting of this print head onto the cable. It's looking great. Let's turn it on. Yeah, <laughs> this is a lot better. All right, let's put on the lid. But this is going to still be <laughs> A beacon of light. So we cleaned up the door and it's already very noticeable that there is a lot more light in this enclosure but there is only one thing to know for sure and it is putting this piece that you have seen before when it was uh, really dark and it saw a little bit more orange. Now let's put this thing back. I think it was right around there. So I have put the extruder in the middle and there is absolutely no shadow being cast on the build plate. I think we have a really good view of the object right now. Now one thing to test it out is by looking at the app and see what the light results are. This camera right in here is auto adjusting. You could see that if you were leaving the room lights on that it would start to dim. So I would imagine that we can only have better results right now. We are going to what I have called this machine the spaghetti machine <laughs> because in the beginning we had a lot of other extrusion. Now the app is loading. This is always a bit of a hit or miss with this app. And we have a view. We can actually see what is laying on the bed now. Now let's turn off all the lights in this shop. Now even with the lights out, we can still see a very good image on the phone. Now, in my opinion, the biggest problem of the lighting was what you could see on the first layers on this printer. So we are going to do some first layer printing in black and see what we come up with. The Creality K1 is nice and busy on its first layer and we can now see what it is doing. But we can still see the problem that the whole front section of the sprint is going to be not in focus. And the focus point is a bit more right here on the back. So this is a major downside still. But we can now see what the sprinter is doing on its first layers. Well, I think we have fixed one of my major complaints on the Creality K1 and that is the lighting issue. We can now clearly see what's going on and even from the side, this side was always very dark to look at and now I can absolutely see what's going on inside. Now, one thing I would say that there is a new problem is that there is a lot of light right here on top of it, but I think a whole bunch of stickers is going to solve this problem very quickly. Well, boys and girls, you heard me correctly. 0.6% of you are women. So we are no longer a boys club. And to those women, I would like to say, how you doing? Well, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to put some more lighting into it. And the next video, I probably am going to replace the nozzle with a CHT one. And look what the absolute maximum there is that I could take out of this printer. So as always, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> this was so awkward. <laughs> oh.